Hello guys and we are back once again with 49ers news and this is all about this day. Yep, as you can see, this is on uh, si.com forward slash NFL forward slash 49ers and this is the good and not so good from day two of the 49ers training camp. Um, this is by Grant Cohen, if you don't know him, look him up on YouTube, Twitter, God knows what, this guy knows what he's talking about, he was there at day two of the training camp. Um... This is him analysing the best and the worst performances of the 49ers training camp for day two. Uh, here's who stood out during the day two of the 49ers training camp. Keep in mind, practice late uh, lasted 90 minutes and the players did not wear pads. So here we go. The good. Number one, offensive tackle Mike uh, McGinsky. Uh, having a terrific training camp. Today he won all of his reps during the one-on-one -on -one pass uh, rush drills. Granted he faced uh, backups Adrian Key and Alex Brent. Still, uh, McKletsky uh, outclass uh, them the way he should. Eventually, you'll face some starters, and we'll see how he does. Offensive tackle number two, uh, Jalen Moore. He has taken Sean Coleman's place as the backup left tackle, and he's performing well. Today, during one-on-ones, uh, Moore beat Samson uh, Ibakmu, uh, who tried his spin-off move and got nowhere. Moore looks promising for a rookie. Number three, defensive tackle, uh, Kevonta Street. Uh, Street had the rep of the day during one-on-ones where he exploded off the, uh, off the snap and not uh, veteran centre Alex Mack into his uh, kinkster. Uh, Street is one of hell of a, uh, an athlete who made steady performances as a pass rusher since the 49ers drafted him. He's better player right now than J uh, Javon Kinlaw. Okay. Number four, defensive tackle, DJ Jones. Uh, Jones bully rookie guard Aaron Banks all morning. That's not good. Uh, Jones is just a way stronger than Banks, who st struggled big time on Thursday. Uh, more on him below. Jones is another player right now who's better than Kinlaw. Number five, defensive tackle, Kevin Givens. Uh, Givens beat both Mac and Thompson during one-on-ones. Given is yet another defensive tackle on the 49ers who's better right now than Kinlaw, who has missed both days of training camp with a knee injury. What unnecessary draft pick he was. Good God. Uh, right, number six, cornerback Jason Vern Broke up two passes from Jimmy G, which is terrific. After practice, we learnt that Vern has not uh, gotten the vaccine, the COVID vaccine 19 yet, which is his choice, but now there's an increased likelihood that he'll miss time during the season. And the 49ers can't afford Vern to miss any time. Seven, Nickelback, Kiwan Williams, ran strife for strife with Kittle, who was running a deep crossing route and broke up the pass. The entire defense erupted when Williams made that play. Kittle has just two passes in camp so far. Number eight, linebacker, uh, Marshall Harris. Uh, Harris played linebacker with the third string defense and broke up a pass in the flat intended for Eli Mitchell, which is good. The fact that Harris had changed positions and currently is working with the third uh, strangers is not good for him. Nine quarterback Josh Rosen threw the best pass of the morning. A 20-yard completion to Debo Samuel ran a deep out route. Rosen threw the ball with uh, uh, anticipation, velocity and accuracy. He still can throw a pigskin with the best of them. Okay. All looks good so far. Now for the worst. The not so good. Here we go. Guard Aaron Banks uh, got worked by everyone he faced during one-on-ones. Uh, lost to Street, Jones and Ark uh, Armstead. Each time Banks got walked back, uh, he got walked backward and into the quarterback's lap. He doesn't look ready to start yet. Daniel Bruce School is better than him right now. That's not good. Uh, number two cornerback Ambry Thomas. Thomas gave up back-to-back -back explosive catches during 11-on-11s. Ele uh, First, he gave up uh, a 25-yard catch to Brandon Ayuk, who was running a deep crossing route. Thomas couldn't even keep up. Then, on the next play, Thomas gave up a 20-yard catch over the middle to Benjamin, who, who ran a dig route. Uh, after the second catch, the 49ers defense backs coach walked into the field to show Thomas what he was doing wrong. Not a good uh, look. Number three. Wide receiver Mohamed Sanyu ran a deep crossing route against backup cornerback Deontay Johnson, but created zero uh, separation and Johnson broke up the pass. The hype surrounding Sanyu is out of control. He's still Mohamed Sanyu. He's not an impact player yet. 
wide receiver Travis Benjamin drops a perfectly thrown pass downfield from uh, Rosen. Benjamin jumps to catch passes and often tries to trap the ball against the chest. This technique le- le- uh, leads to drops. Number five, offensive tackle Alfondo Alfredo Gutierrez. Good athlete, inexpe- uh, inexperienced football player. Today he faced Alex uh, Barrett during one on ones and Barrett beat him easily with a spin move to the inside. Uh, Alfredo, uh, Alfredo never seen raised his arms to block him. He's st- Still learning how to play offensively, t- uh, offensive tackle, and he has a chance to make the practice squad if he improves. And number six, the last one, Nick Bosa. He's got given the COVID vac- uh, He's not been given the COVID vaccine yet, which means he's at, at higher risk to miss time during the season. Not good for the Forty Nineers who need Bosa. I get the feeling he won't budge on this issue. This is un. Fucking believable. It is literally starting to piss me off with all these vaccination rules now. Because you need this team fully functioned, ready to go. It's not happening. It's not happening. If Bosa not budging and needs to budge quick and needs to push himself to budge for a vaccine, listen, we've got no hope. Honestly. And we're supposed to be in our prime. Two years ago was in the final, the Super Bowl. We were that close. Last year, no hope for injuries, no hope for anything. COVID hit everyone hard. And now, everyone's kicking ass, training camp's going underway, everyone's doing good, everyone's doing bad, but will improve. If they're not getting vaccines, we ain't got a, a great squad. Fact. And we need this squad. We need both room. You know what I mean? It, it, this is what I'm not liking. And it's starting to pee me off. Uh, day two looks good, though. Overall, okay, like I said, Aaron Banks, you know, do we need a guard? Mm, yes, I think Aaron Banks can do the job, but he's still learning. Uh, Alfredo as well, inexperienced, but still learning. These guys are still learning. And we need to get it done. Um, thanks for guys for watching. Leave a comment uh, down below. Tell me what you think, how day two went. Let us know any articles or, or uh, websites going better than uh, the article with my red. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Tell what you think as well. Uh, thank you very much for 39 subscribers. Really fortunate, humble, appreciate that you guys have subscribed. And if you are new, subscribe for 49ers news and other NFL news as well. Plus, keep an eye out on the 31st of July, 6 p.m. British time. I'll be pre- um, preparing a video uh, for you guys. And it will be what I'll be doing on the NFL season. So keep an eye on that. And yeah, thanks for guys for watching. I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.